Introducing a celebrated actress recognized for her exceptional talent both on stage and screen. What makes her stand out among her peers during her era? Which of her performances do you remember the most? Share your favorite memories or experiences related to this well-known star below. And keep watching for some interesting, surprising, and heartfelt facts about her journey. There are plenty of amusing, shocking, and poignant stories ahead, so stay tuned. An accomplished actress, Helen Mirren has amazed audiences worldwide with her incredible talent. She's well known in the entertainment world for her amazing performances and wide range of roles. Over her career, she's made a lasting impression, earning praise for playing strong and interesting characters. Mirren's work in movies and theater has made her a big deal in acting. Critics and viewers love how she can become so many different characters. Her skill and hard work have made her one of the most admired actresses of her generation. In a poignant moment at the BAFTA Awards, she honored Ian Richardson, acknowledging his pivotal role in her journey. Their connection traced back to their collaboration in A Midsummer Night's Dream. This gesture, made just after Richardson's passing, spoke volumes about their bond. Despite her portrayal of royalty on screen, she humorously rebuffed being called ma'am in Prime Suspect 7, a stark contrast to her regal roles earlier. Additionally, she joined RAHDA as an associate member, further enriching her ties to the craft. Such actions reveal a deep respect for her roots and peers, shaping her legacy in the industry. In 1975, she gained the nickname Sex Queen at the Royal Shakespeare Company, thanks to the BBC's Michael Parkinson. This was a big moment in her career. Before marrying director Taylor Hackford in 1997, she lived with him in Los Angeles since 1986, getting to know the city's lifestyle. The move to Los Angeles opened up new opportunities for her career and added more to her personal life. Later on, in December 2006, she got the second spot in Entertainment Weekly's Entertainers of the Year, confirming her status as a big deal in the entertainment world. This recognition showed that she's still very talented and influential, captivating people around the world with her performances on stage and screen. Helen Mirren's journey from a simple start to international fame shows how dedicated and charming she is. Her impact continues to inspire actors and audiences, making a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Helen Mirren is a well-known actress who has done many different roles. She was offered a part in Wuthering Heights, but turned it down. Instead, her friend got the role, and she was happy about it. In another play called The Audience, she acted as Queen Elizabeth II and won an award for it. In a movie called Oh Lucky Man, she played a character named Patricia Burgess after the original actress was fired. Malcolm McDowell, who persuaded her to take the role, also convinced her to be in another movie called Caligula, which wasn't a good decision. McDowell joked that she's probably still mad at him for that. Throughout her career, Helen Mirren has shown she can do many different roles on stage and in movies. She's very good at what she does and people like watching her act. Recipient of the Volpe Cup for Best Actress at the 63rd Venice Film Festival in September 26, the performance in the highly anticipated film, The Queen, left an enduring impression. At the premiere, the audience responded with a standing ovation lasting five minutes. In the controversial film Caligula, the portrayal of the character Sisonia brought an intriguing mix of art and primal instincts to life. Despite concerns about the explicit content, the actor stood by the role, seeing it as a milestone for European cinema's exploration of sex positivity. For the actor, this film marked a turning point, prompting an embrace of on-screen nudity to authentically portray characters. The exploration of the human form became a form of artistic expression, contributing to the evolving narrative of cinema. The performances, whether commanding the screen in The Queen or navigating the provocative landscape of Caligula, highlight versatility and commitment to the craft. Through roles like Sisonia, there's a lasting reminder of dedication and contribution to the evolving film industry. In conclusion, the actor's journey has been marked by a fearless embrace of challenging roles, pushing boundaries of artistic expression and societal expectations. The portrayal of characters like Sisonia serves as a lasting reminder of dedication and contribution to the evolving film industry. A lifelike statue of the famous actress was revealed at Madame Tussauds London in May 2010, showing her likeness in impressive detail. It took skilled artisans four months to make, costing around 150000 Pound in 1996, she made news when she supposedly turned down a significant honor, sparking admiration and speculation. She starred as Queen Charlotte in The Madness of King George, a role that showcased her talent and earned praise. But it was her performance as Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen in 26 that really made her mark. 
Playing these historical figures showed her versatility and she won the Best Actress Oscar for her role. Her ability to become these famous characters convincingly shows her commitment to acting. Each role she takes further solidifies her reputation as one of the most talented actresses of her time. In short, Helen Mirren's journey from stage to screen has been remarkable, filled with memorable performances and awards that speak to her lasting influence in entertainment. With an impressive 40 wins, she's the second best in winning Best Actress awards, mostly for her role as Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen. Kate Blanchett's performance in Blue Jasmine is the only one surpassing hers. She was born and educated in Britain, and her part as Tanya Kerbuk in 2010, The Year We Make Contact, highlighted her basic Russian inherited from her Russian descent father. Initially hesitant about the violence in Red, she joined the cast after hearing about Bruce Willis' involvement. Her Russian accent in the movie was exaggerated, reflecting her English accent at spoken Russian. Despite initial reservations about the role's intensity, she found herself drawn to the project, delivering a performance that resonated with audiences worldwide. Her ability to dive into diverse roles, from portraying British royalty to handling Russian dialogue, showcases her versatility as an actress. In every role, she brings a unique mix of depth, nuance, and authenticity, captivating audiences with her strong on-screen presence. Her journey from British theater to international stardom speaks volumes about her talent and dedication. She's become synonymous with excellence in cinema, inspiring aspiring actors globally. Her influence in the industry is undeniable, leaving a lasting impression on the history of film. In the 2010 film The Year We Make Contact, she portrayed Tanya Kerbuck, a character whose last name minus the C spells Kubrick backwards. This is a nod to Stanley Kubrick, who directed 2001 A Space Odyssey in 1968. Interestingly, in the novel, her character's last name is Orlov, and she is married to Vasily Orlov. In 2007, she earned recognition for her contribution to film by winning the Film Achievement Award as one of the greatest Britons. She made history by becoming the third person, following Sigourney Weaver and Joan Plowright, to win two Golden Globes for acting in the same year. She portrayed two different queens of England, Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Elizabeth II. Helen Mirren played Morgana in the film Excalibur, where she met Liam Neeson, her partner for the next four years. Originally set for a role in Precious, she switched to a bigger project. She shared Vanity Fair's Hollywood cover in 2016 with Jane Fonda, Viola Davis, Kate Blanchett, Jennifer Lawrence, Rachel Weisz, Lupita Nyong'o, Brie Larson, Alicia Vikander, Gugu Mbatha Raw, Charlotte Rampling, Diane Keaton, and Saoirse Ronan, photographed by Annie Leibovitz. Starting her journey in the acting world, she gained her initial experience with the National Youth Theatre. Born on the same date as Linda Nova Harrison, a Planet of the Apes fame, she shares a significant connection with another notable figure. Recognized for her contributions to drama, she was awarded the Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 23 Queen's Birthday Honors list. Her dedication to the craft has earned her prestigious recognition. In 2006, a remarkable performance by an actress captivated audiences worldwide. She portrayed Queen Elizabeth II in a film that garnered her numerous prestigious awards, leaving an enduring impression on viewers. Throughout her career, she demonstrated remarkable versatility, seamlessly transitioning into various roles. From playing Morgana in Excalibur to taking on characters originally portrayed by John Gielgud, she showcased her adaptability and talent on screen. Her ability to inhabit diverse roles and deliver compelling performances has solidified her as a standout figure in the realm of acting. Her talent shines through in each portrayal, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. In the realm of acting, some stars shine especially bright, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors alike. One such remarkable talent took on a challenging role in a controversial historical film. Alongside another respected actor, they both portrayed characters named Hobson in different adaptations related to the Arthur stories. The actor, who won an Oscar for their performance in Arthur, even made a brief appearance in its sequel. Conversely, the actress in question tackled the role of Hobson in a more recent version of Arthur. Not only known for her acting prowess, she also served as a jury member at the Venice Film Festival. Throughout her career, she has shown remarkable versatility, taking on roles in historical dramas and modern comedies alike. Her presence on screen draws viewers into the story with her powerful performances. Her work in the industry stands as a symbol of excellence and dedication, inspiring aspiring actors everywhere. She truly embodies the ability to portray characters with depth and authenticity, leaving a lasting impression on every production she's a part of. 
Considered for roles in various movies, she showed her acting skills. Later, at 69, she became an ambassador for Allorial Paris. Known for her role in The Madness of King George, she made a lasting impression. Despite being nominated for an Academy Award, she didn't win. However, her influence on the film industry is clear, inspiring actors worldwide. This reflection on her career highlights her talent and contributions to cinema, showing her impact on the industry. Recognized for her outstanding acting skills, she was nominated for a major award in 1995 for her role in a play. Despite facing rejection for a significant movie role in 1967, she persisted in her acting career, showing great determination. Her talent and hard work have earned her many awards and, and nominations over the years. Aside from her acting, she's also known for her great fashion sense. Her style has impressed many and has made her a fashion icon. In 2013, she was named one of the 50 best dressed people over 50 by The Guardian. This recognition showed how her timeless fashion sense has influenced others. Throughout her journey, she's always pushed boundaries and inspired many. Her influence goes beyond just acting and fashion, reaching people worldwide. With every role she takes and every red carpet appearance she makes, she continues to leave a lasting impression. In short, her impressive career and influence show her talent, determination, and passion. She has made significant contributions to both the entertainment industry and fashion world, and her impact will be remembered for years to come. Born with a Russian background, she surprisingly never became fluent in her native language. Instead, she excelled in French. She's well known not just for her acting skills, but also for her unique journey. Considered for a role in a famous movie, she competed with another actress, ultimately losing to Meryl Streep. Streep's performance earned praise and an Oscar nomination. Even though she missed out on the role, it was just a small part of her successful career. Besides acting, she's also made an impact in music. She even became the subject of a rap song, adding another layer to her persona. This mix of different art forms shows how influential she is in popular culture. In her life story, languages and roles change, but she remains a mysterious and captivating figure for audiences worldwide. Her story continues to unfold, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment and beyond. Throughout her esteemed acting career, Helen Mirren shared the captivating story of her life in In the Frame, My Life in Words and Pictures, a memoir released in March 2008. Among her many roles, one memorable instance was her surprising decision not to play Joan Collins in the film Decadence back in 1994. This choice highlighted her discerning taste and artistic integrity. Going deeper into her personal life, it's fascinating to learn about the origin of a simple yet meaningful tattoo on her left hand, a star tattoo she got while visiting a Native American reservation in Minnesota. This small detail offers a touching glimpse into her adventures beyond Hollywood, showing her love for exploring different cultures and finding significance in unexpected places. These personal stories scattered throughout her memoir invite readers into the private world of a celebrated artist, revealing sides of her personality often hidden from the public eye. Each story and experience paints a richer, more detailed picture of Helen Mirren. Ultimately, in the frame my life in words and pictures goes beyond being just a celebrity memoir. It's a heartfelt reflection on the life and times of an icon, a tribute to the lasting impact of one of cinema's most beloved talents. Considered for the role of Miranda Priestly in The Devil Wears Prada, she ultimately lost out to Meryl Streep. Despite the setback, she continued to pursue roles that challenged her acting abilities. For her portrayal as a retired Israeli Mossad agent in the debt, she dedicated herself to thorough research, immersing herself in the Hebrew language, Jewish history, and Holocaust literature. During filming in Israel, she delved into the life of Simon Wiesenthal, drawing inspiration from his experiences. In April 2007, reports surfaced that she and her husband had decided to part ways with their estate in New Orleans, a city that held a special place in her heart. The vibrant culture and rich history of New Orleans had always captivated her, making it a difficult decision to let go of their property there. Despite the sale, her fond memories of the city lingered on, and she often reminisced about the time spent amidst its unique atmosphere. Reflecting on her career, she remained grateful for the diverse opportunities she had encountered, each contributing to her growth as an actress. From her early days to her more recent endeavors, she continued to push boundaries and explore new horizons in her craft. Undoubtedly, her talent and dedication had solidified her status as one of Hollywood's most respected figures. In her role as Queen Charlotte in The Madness of King George, she showed her amazing acting skills. 
She also acted on stage with Janine Duvitsky in Blue Remembered Hills back in 1979, proving her talent early in her career. Her performance in Dance of Death by August Strindberg got her a Tony Award nomination in 22, proving she's a powerhouse in both theater and movies. Her big breakthrough in Hollywood came with her first American movie in 2010, The Year We Make Contact. Playing Tanya Kerbuck, she impressed both audiences and critics, getting her Screen Actors Guild card and starting her successful journey in American films. With each new role, she continues to impress people with her talent and dedication. Without a doubt, Helen Mirren's impact on the film industry will be remembered for a long time. In a timeless movie, she played Morgana, standing out alongside Paul Jeffrey as Percival. Their performances and Excalibur added depth to the story about an hour in. Later, she became a U.S. citizen in 2017 and voted in the 2020 election. Her acting as Queen Elizabeth II earned her big awards. Her initials match the Queen's title, which is a fun coincidence. Fans worldwide love her work in movies and plays. Overall, she's made a big impact in entertainment from her early days to winning awards. Her talent and hard work shine through in everything she does. In her long career, she played a queen in six movies, showing how talented she is. You might remember her in films like The Queen and Elizabeth I, where she really stood out. In the movie Oh Lucky Man, she took on the character Patricia Burgess and made it her own. She worked with Malcolm McDowell in this film, and they had great chemistry. Later, they starred together in Caligula, where she played Sisonia, and he played the Emperor. Her team-ups with Malcolm McDowell weren't just luck. They both were really good actors and made each other better on screen. She's respected all over the world for her acting, and her performances will be remembered for a long time. In 2015, she reached a big achievement, becoming the 22nd person ever to get the Triple Crown of Acting. This award is special because it means she won an Emmy Award for doing great on TV, an Academy Award for her amazing acting in a movie called The Queen, and a Tony Award for her excellent work in a play called The Audience. While filming White Nights in 1985, she met her future husband, Taylor Hackford. He directed her in the movie, and they later got married. Their wedding was in Scotland, and it was really beautiful. Hackford wore a traditional Scottish kilt, which added a nice touch to the ceremony. Throughout her career, she's gotten a lot of praise for her acting. But there was a gap of seven years between her two Oscar nominations, which made people wonder why she wasn't in as many movies during that time. Her journey in acting shows how talented she is and how much she's influenced the entertainment world. From winning awards to starring in great movies, she's shown she's a really special artist. She once tried out for a big role in a play, but didn't get it because the producer thought her bottom was too big. But she didn't give up. Before she became an actress, she worked at a fun park in Southend on C. Essex, convincing people to go on rides. She did really well in a play called Orpheus, descending at the Donmer Warehouse in 2001, and she got nominated for a big acting award. This was a really important moment for her because it showed that she was talented and that her hard work paid off. Even though she faced challenges, she kept going because she loved acting so much. Every role she took on and every stage she performed on was a part of her amazing journey. In a captivating performance, a talented actress embodied the complexities of her character with finesse, while another actress shared a history with a renowned actor, adding depth to both their on- and off-screen dynamics. According to People Weekly, the tattoo symbolizes equality with a hint of opposites intertwining. This actress stands proudly among those who have clinched major industry awards, marking a significant achievement that speaks volumes about her talent and dedication. Her journey in cinema showcases her mastery and versatility as an actress, with each role leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Whether portraying regal figures or everyday individuals, her performances never fail to captivate. In every role she takes on, she brings depth and authenticity, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Her influence in the film industry is cherished, as she continues to inspire aspiring actors with her talent and dedication. In summary, her illustrious career is a testament to her unparalleled talent, dedication, and versatility, making her a true icon of the silver screen. In the world of theater and film, there are actors who leave a lasting impression through their versatility and dedication to their craft. One such artist is known for her remarkable performances on both stage and screen. Nominated for a prestigious theater award in 2004, this actor showcased her talent in a compelling production called Morning Becomes Electra. Later, she tackled a challenging role in a controversial movie, adding depth to her already diverse body of work. 
amidst the challenges faced during the making of this film. She and another esteemed actor remained committed to delivering powerful performances. Even though she narrowly missed out on a role in a famous film, her impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Her ability to embody various characters with grace ensures that her influence will be remembered for years to come. A notable fact about Helen Mirren is her role as a stepmother to Rio Hackford and Alex Hackford. Additionally, she shared four years of her life with Liam Neeson after meeting on the set of Excalibur in 1981. Following this, she spent another four years with British photographer and fashion designer James Wedge. Their acquaintance began when she posed for his cover photo for the July 11, 1971 edition of The Observer magazine. Some of his erotica portraits of her later appeared in her 2008 autobiography in the frame My Life in Words and Pictures. Mirren also received recognition for her acting prowess, winning the Plays and Players London Theatre Critics Award as Best Actress for her roles in Teeth and Smiles and The Seagull in 1975. Recognized with the Outer Critics Circle for her outstanding debut in A Month in the Country, Helen Mirren later earned the Best Actress Oscar for The Queen at the 79th Annual Academy Awards. Her talent and performances gained her international fame. Although she didn't get the role of Louise Sawyer in Thelma and Louise, Marin's auditions were widely praised for their depth and intensity. As an actress, she continues to inspire audiences worldwide, making a lasting impact on the cinematic world. Critics and fans celebrate her accomplishments, solidifying her status as one of the greatest performers of her generation. In the early 1980s, Helen Mirren was in contention for a role in a movie called The Missionary, but the part eventually went to Maggie Smith. Instead, Mirren found success in her portrayal of Morgana in the film Excalibur. This role was crucial for her career, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In one memorable scene, she had her head placed through a hole in a table during a childbirth sequence, displaying her unconventional approach to acting. Prior to her film career, Mirren had already made a name for herself as a respected stage actress, particularly in Shakespearean productions. Her ability to seamlessly transition between stage and screen highlighted her talent as an actress. Her consideration for the role in The Missionary and her impactful portrayal of Morgana demonstrate her willingness to take on diverse and challenging characters contributing to her reputation in the industry. In a well-known historical film, she played the role of Queen Charlotte, acting alongside Rupert Everett, who portrayed King George VI in another movie. Later on, she took on the character of Queen Elizabeth II in a different film. She was born at 2000 AM and has proven herself as a talented actress. In 2013, she participated in a campaign for Marx and Spencer called Womanism, where she stood alongside other famous figures. She's known for her performances in both theater and movies, especially for her portrayals of royal figures. Her acting has impressed audiences all over the world, earning her many awards. She continues to dazzle with her incredible performances. In the realm of movies, there's a fantastic duo whose chemistry on screen has wowed audiences in many films. They've acted together in five movies, playing different roles in various types of stories. Their acting together has always kept people interested, showing how good they are at playing different characters. They've left a strong impression with their work, becoming a famous pair in movie history. They're great at becoming the characters they play, whether it's a sad story or an exciting action movie. People love watching them because they seem so real in their roles, and their friendship on screen makes their performances even better. Their teamwork shows how well actors can work together in movies, proving that when two talented people come together, the result is amazing. Their names are now linked with great acting, and what they've done continues to inspire new filmmakers and movie lovers. It's no surprise that their work together is loved and celebrated, leaving a big impact on the movie world. Initially cast as Rania Skaya in The Cherry Orchard, she found herself deeply immersed in the project right from the start. Attending rehearsals and investing herself fully, she was committed to bringing the character to life on stage. However, her journey with the production took an unexpected turn when director Michael Kakoyanis made a declaration that altered her plans significantly. With the directive that no one could leave Bulgaria during the three-month filming period, she faced a dilemma. Despite her dedication to the role, she ultimately made the difficult decision to withdraw from the project. Away from the stage and screen, she leads a life of luxury and comfort, boasting homes in the bustling metropolis of Los Angeles, the cosmopolitan city of London, and the serene landscapes of the south of France. Her success in the industry is evident, marked by significant milestones such as earning her Screen Actors Guild card. 
It was a momentous occasion for her when she graced the American feature film scene with her debut in 2010, The Year We Make Contact. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in her career, solidifying her status as a notable presence in Hollywood. Fascinated by facial scars, Helen Mirren finds them captivating and even attractive as evident in her role in The Dead. In the audition, she brilliantly portrayed Queen Elizabeth II, earning the Olivier Award for Best Actress. During Caligula, she went to great lengths for authenticity, particularly in the childbirth scene as Sasonia. Using real pregnant women and doctors, despite the ancient Roman setting, Mirren immersed herself fully into the character's psyche. Her commitment to her craft shines through in every performance, capturing her characters with depth and authenticity. Mirren's versatility as an actress is evident, whether she's playing a regal monarch or a gritty character. Her influence on the film industry is undeniable, leaving a lasting impact on every role she takes on. Her portrayal of strong, diverse women continues to inspire audiences globally. Considered for various guest roles in the long-running sci-fi series Doctor Who, she was sought after by directors for roles such as Kasha, Todd Preston, Jane Humpton, Lady Edison, and Adelaide Brooke. David Green envisioned her for the role initially intended for Susanna York in the film Sebastian. She holds the unique distinction of portraying both Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Elizabeth II in acclaimed productions. Thus, she stands as the only actress to have depicted both iconic monarchs on screen. In the world of acting, the journey of a renowned performer unfolds with fascinating stories. Cast in a notable role, the chemistry between two actors wasn't initially friendly. They had a history, but the director saw potential in their tension, casting them anyway. Surprisingly, during filming, they became good friends. Before achieving fame, this individual was on a different path. While training for another profession, a chance on stage role hinted at their talent. This early experience foreshadowed the successful career that followed. In terms of recognition, there's a special connection with their spouse. Both have won Oscars, highlighting their exceptional achievements in cinema. This shared success adds depth to their career, showcasing not just individual talent, but also their partnership. One actress, known for her roles as historical queens, shines brightly among her peers. She received an Academy Award nomination for her portrayal, joining the ranks of other talented actresses like Katherine Hepburn and Kate Blanchett. Interestingly, she was also considered for a major role in a famous sci-fi movie. When asked about her inspirations, she mentioned Anna Moniani as someone she looks up to. Throughout her career, she has not only impressed audiences on screen, but has also touched many hearts. Her performances as royal figures have garnered praise worldwide showcasing her exceptional talent and dedication. Beyond acting, she is recognized for her efforts in supporting causes and helping others. Her lasting impact on cinema and society is undeniable, leaving a significant mark for generations to come. Considered for the role of Lilith Beresford in Awake, which eventually went to Lena Olin, she faced competition for roles that showcased her acting prowess. Nominated for the 22 Tony Award in New York City for her performance in Dance of Death, her talent on the stage garnered recognition beyond the screen. In the early 70s, she was in the running for the role of Solitaire in Live and Let Die, but the part ultimately went to Jane Seymour. These instances underscore her consistent presence in the industry, with casting directors recognizing her potential for a range of roles. Whether it's a missed opportunity or a nomination on the Broadway stage, her career has been marked by a diversity of experiences, showcasing her ability to navigate different facets of the entertainment industry. In a revealing interview with GQ back in 2008, the actress shared some candid moments from her past. During her younger years, she faced unwanted advances and occasionally indulged in cocaine at social gatherings until the 1980s. However, her decision to quit the drug came about after reading a debunked tabloid story linking it to Klaus Barbie's alleged cocaine dealings. After her relationship with Liam Neeson ended, she met her future husband while working on a film directed by him. This marked a significant turning point in her personal life. Notably, she portrayed a character in a film whose artifact now resides in the home of the film's writer, producer, and director. According to the will, the artifact will eventually belong to her. These personal and professional experiences offer a glimpse into the life of a seasoned actress who navigated the challenges of her youth and the dynamics of the film industry. In an interview back in 1990, she revealed her atheism stating, I don't believe in God. Yet, she admitted to a lingering belief in fairies and leprechauns, sharing her childhood fascination with the mystical. Her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was unveiled in 2013, surrounded by family and colleagues. 
Notably, she was named British Naturism's Naturist of the Year in 24. These diverse aspects of her life hint at a person who defies easy categorization, a complexity that adds depth to her public persona. Born to a family with Russian roots on her father's side and English ancestry on her mother's side, she has a diverse heritage. Despite their initial reservations, she and Nicole Williamson portrayed Morgana and Merlin and Excalibur due to their director's belief that their mutual antipathy would enhance their on-screen rivalry. Although offered the role of Daphne Manners in The Jewel in the Crown, she couldn't take it, leading Susan Wooldridge to step in. Considered for roles and heroes, and I, Claudius before her breakout performances, Helen Mirren's versatility as an actress was evident from the start. Despite missing out on these roles, her talent soon garnered widespread recognition. Beyond her acting prowess, Mirren's candid embrace of naturism added another layer to her public persona. Embracing naturism as a liberating experience, she expressed her fondness for nude beaches, emphasizing the inclusive and unisexual nature of such environments. Named Naturist of the Year in 2004 by British Naturism, Mirren's advocacy for naturism highlighted her commitment to personal freedom and acceptance. In the world of entertainment, navigating the challenges of on-screen nudity can be a daunting task. One individual who openly discussed these hurdles is a seasoned performer known for her candid reflections. In interviews, she shared her experiences, notably recalling her discomfort during certain scenes, while also acknowledging the unique circumstances of particular projects like the movie Caligula. Interestingly, in that film, the entire cast shed their inhibitions, creating a sense of collective exposure that somewhat eased her reservations. Outside of her cinematic pursuits, she's recognized for her diverse social connections, notably with the charismatic Russell Brand. Their camaraderie sheds light on her life beyond the glitz of Hollywood. In one of her less known works, Oh Lucky Man, she shared the screen with a talented ensemble, including notable names like Rachel Roberts and Ralph Richardson. Despite being amidst accomplished peers, she held a unique distinction as the sole Oscar winner within the cast, further highlighting her standing in the acting world. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the journey of a seasoned performer, a trailblazer in her own right. Her candid reflections on on-screen challenges and her diverse connections provide a deeper understanding of her experiences in the limelight. Renowned for her on-screen prowess, the multifaceted talent extends her personal touch beyond acting roles. Not just an actress, she's also known for her adept sewing skills, fashioning shirts for notable figures like Peter O'Toole, Liam Neeson, and Taylor Hackford, adding a unique touch to her relationships. The family connection runs deep beyond the glitz of the silver screen. Sharing a familial bond with Tanya Mallet, her first cousin, and a familiar face from Goldfinger, the actress values this connection since childhood. Unfortunately, Tanya's passing in 2019 prompted an open expression of grief from the actress, emphasizing her cousin's kindness and generosity in a tribute to People magazine. Her career weaves a tapestry of collaborations with fellow actors. From sharing the screen with Malcolm McDowell and Caligula to portraying Patricia Burgess in O oh Lucky Man, these partnerships have left an indelible mark on cinema. Even her collaboration with McDowell extended beyond the big screen to documentaries like The Great War 1914-1918. In both her personal life and career, this influential figure leaves a lasting impression on those around her, going beyond the realms of acting. In the heart of Manhattan's East Village lies a quaint spot known as the Ukrainian Stage Restaurant, a favored dining spot for one prominent figure. She's well known for her talent, having clinched an Oscar for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth II in a film. This recognition placed her among a select group of actors celebrated for bringing real-life characters to the big screen. In a unique twist, she was chosen by the esteemed artist Sir Peter Blake to appear on a revamped version of the Beatles' famous Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album cover. This special edition paid tribute to the cream of British cultural icons, showcasing her enduring influence in the entertainment industry. From portraying royalty to becoming a cultural symbol herself, she has made a significant impact on the world stage. Her versatility and widespread appeal have endeared her not only to movie buffs, but to a broader audience as well. The blend of her culinary preferences and artistic collaborations adds to her allure, showcasing her as a multifaceted personality whose influence transcends Hollywood. With an Oscar win, participation in iconic album covers, and a taste for Ukrainian cuisine, she has carved her own niche in the world of entertainment and culture. In summary, the Ukrainian stage restaurant reflects her discerning tastes, while her accolades and collaborations underscore her influence. 
This convergence of cinematic brilliance and cultural recognition cements her status as a luminary, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment and artistic landscape. An actor whose career spans many years made a memorable impression in Hollywood back in 2011. At that time, the actor left their hand and footprint in cement outside Grauman Chinese Theater, a tradition reserved for the most esteemed individuals in the industry. This actor is known for their ability to seamlessly transition between different roles, showcasing their talent and versatility on screen. One particularly memorable performance was alongside another legendary actor in the portrayal of Titania in A Midsummer Night's Dream. The chemistry between the two actors brought depth and charm to the characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Additionally, both actors took on the role of Queen Elizabeth I in separate productions, bringing their own interpretation and style to the historical figure. The actor's knack for embodying diverse characters has solidified their reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment world. Their impact goes beyond just the characters they play. It reflects a deep commitment to the art of storytelling. Looking back, the hand and footprint cemented outside Grauman Chinese Theater serve as a lasting reminder of this actor's influence in Hollywood. It symbolizes their enduring legacy and contributions to the world of cinema. This narrative encapsulates the essence of a remarkable actor whose influence continues to be felt throughout film history. Did you know that when Helen Mirren was a young girl, her dad passed away? He was from Russia, and when Helen was only nine years old, he died. This left her family struggling with money. It was a really sad time for her, but she didn't let it stop her. Instead, she worked hard and became a very successful actor. Even though she had tough times, she never gave up. She showed a lot of strength and determination. It's a good reminder that even when things are hard, you can still achieve your dreams if you keep going. In a surprising twist, Helen Mirren's early life was marked by a sad event. When she was just nine years old, her father, who worked as a taxi driver and hailed from Russia, passed away in a car accident. This loss had a big impact on her upbringing, shaping her determination to become an actor. Despite this tough start, she went on to become very successful in her acting career, playing a variety of roles on stage and in movies. She's known for being able to play many different characters. For instance, she became famous for playing a detective in a TV show called Prime Suspect and won an Oscar for playing Queen Elizabeth II in a movie called The Queen. People really like watching her act because she's so good at it. Throughout her career, she's challenged ideas about what women can do in the entertainment industry. She's been brave both in her roles and in speaking out about important issues. Even though she's faced hard times in her personal life, like losing her father, she stayed strong and focused on her work. Her impact isn't just about how talented she is, but also about how much she cares about making the world a better place. In her early career, she faced a profound tragedy when her father passed away unexpectedly. This loss deeply affected her and changed how she approached acting. Despite the sadness, she didn't give up. Instead, she used her grief to make her performances more real, and Hartford Lieutenant people watching her on screen could feel the emotions she portrayed because they came from her own experiences. She kept going, getting better at acting, and finding healing through her roles. Even though she still felt sad sometimes, she became stronger and more inspiring to others. In the realm of entertainment, there's a story that stands out for its resilience and triumph over personal tragedy. Amidst the highs and lows of fame and sorrow, the journey of one individual shines brightly. Back in 2000, tragedy struck when the person lost a loved one, casting a shadow over their life. Despite this profound loss, their dedication to their craft remained unwavering. Their ability to navigate the complexities of the industry, from stage to screen, captivated audiences worldwide. Their story serves as a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour lies a person who has faced deep sorrow yet continues to leave a lasting impact on cinema. It's a narrative of strength and perseverance, where personal struggles intertwine with professional success. And through it all, their resilience shines through, painting a vivid picture of triumph over adversity. Before achieving success in acting, she encountered a deeply saddening event when she lost her father at a young age. This experience cast a shadow over her early years, but she didn't let it stop her. Instead, she persevered with determination and became a shining star in the acting world. Throughout her impressive career, she has amazed audiences with her exceptional talent. She has a special gift for expressing a wide range of emotions, which sets her apart and makes her a respected figure in entertainment. Her life story shows how resilient she is and how much she loves acting. The challenges she faced only made her more committed to her craft. 
By overcoming adversity, she didn't just become a successful actress, she became a symbol of strength and determination. Her journey is inspiring for aspiring artists and those facing tough times. It proves that perseverance and passion can lead to triumph. Her impact is not just seen in the movies she's been in, but also felt deeply by those who have been touched by her performances. Did you know that Helen Mirren once thought about giving up acting because she didn't feel good enough? It's true. Despite being really talented, there was a time when she wasn't sure about herself in the acting world. She even thought about quitting altogether. It's surprising to hear that someone so famous had doubts about themselves. But luckily, she kept going, and we all got to see how amazing she is on screen. It shows how strong she is and how much she loves acting. At the beginning of her career, she faced a tough situation when her dad passed away when she was just nine. This event had a lasting impact on her, deeply affecting her young heart and mind. Despite the immense sadness and loss she went through, she showed incredible strength and determination. It was like the challenges she faced became the driving force for her acting dreams, pushing her forward with even more energy. Dealing with such a big loss at a young age could have easily sidetracked her from her dreams. But even then, she had a strong will and resolve. Instead of giving in to despair, she used acting as a way to express herself and escape from the pain. As she worked on her skills and followed her passion, she encountered many obstacles and setbacks. But each challenge only made her stronger. Her journey had its share of tough times, but through sheer determination, she overcame every obstacle in her way. Despite the difficulties, she kept going, driven by her passion and unwavering belief in herself. Her dedication and talent eventually caught the attention of the industry, pushing her into the spotlight. With each role she took on, she amazed audiences with her depth and versatility, earning widespread praise and recognition. Her journey from facing tough times to achieving success is a clear example of her resilience, talent, and determination. It's an inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses, showing that with perseverance and self-belief, anything is possible. Helen Mirren's story highlights the human spirit's ability to overcome challenges and reach greatness. In her early years, Helen Mirren faced a tough time when her dad passed away unexpectedly at the age of nine. This was a really hard time for her family, casting a shadow of sadness over their lives. But she didn't give up. Instead, she showed strong determination and used her love for acting to cope with the pain. Despite going through tough times, she didn't let challenges define her. With strong determination, she set out on a journey to become a star, making her mark in the competitive entertainment world. Through her talent and determination, she rose above her difficulties, impressing audiences with her performances on screen. Her rise to fame is a clear example of her strong spirit and commitment to her work. In each role she took on, she displayed her skills and depth as an actress, earning praise from peers and fans. Her journey from a simple start to Hollywood success shows how persistence and the human spirit can overcome challenges. In the history of movies, her name stands out as an inspiration for new actors and actresses. Her story goes beyond the big screen, representing the strength of the human spirit in tough times. Her tale reminds us that no challenge is too big when faced with bravery and determination. Helen Mirren's story isn't just about being famous, it's about facing challenges with strength and overcoming them. It's a reminder that even when things look tough, there's always hope for a better tomorrow. With her amazing talent and strong determination, she continues to inspire actors and actresses worldwide. In an early stage role, an unfortunate incident occurred involving a prop sword. During a performance of Troilus and Cressida with the Royal Shakespeare Company, the co-star accidentally struck the lead actress, resulting in a severe injury. Despite the mishap, she carried on with the show, demonstrating her dedication to her craft. Throughout her career, this actor has received praise for her performances across various platforms like film, television, and stage. Her commitment to her roles and her talent in portraying different characters have made her highly respected in the industry. Despite the challenges faced early on, she persisted and achieved remarkable success. Her journey serves as a reminder of the resilience and determination required to excel in acting. Despite setbacks, she continues to mesmerize audiences with her talent and passion for her craft. In the realm of acting, there's a figure whose journey is as remarkable as her performances. Early in her career, tragedy struck when a close relative fell victim to an IRA bomb in England. This devastating event left a deep imprint on her life, influencing her perspective and resilience. Despite facing personal hardship, she continued to pursue her passion for acting across various platforms from stage to screen. 
One of her most notable roles was portraying Queen Elizabeth II in a 26 film, which earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. Beyond her professional achievements, she's admired for her candidness and refusal to conform to societal norms, particularly regarding age and gender stereotypes in the entertainment industry. This unwavering spirit, shaped by personal grief, adds layers to her performances, earning her respect in the acting world. In summary, her journey is not just marked by triumphs on screen, but also by the strength forged through personal tragedy, making her the resilient and authentic artist she is today.